Oh, then Jakira has to be called with Tidehunter. I know. Ah, which it could be, but uh, it's very unlikely. Because yeah. then you're like super all in. Yeah. If you really pick a Rubik yeah. now, it has to be like a Omen Rubik or something. I don't think they will do that. Five seconds so what does VG need? They need objectives for sure. They have no pushing potential right now at all. So they need something like the TB they had last game. Team secrets turn to quick. Slark. Slark. All right. So they do go with that uh, yeah. kind of remaining answer against the Tide Hunter, or I mean, at least uh, having hybrid damage in the stat steal. Slark is actually really good against all three heroes they Dire have. Team oh. back. Storm, Storm spirit. spirit. Amazing hero. Hard counter Slark. Really good against Omni Knight. The only stun VG has is a uh, sanking right now. And. Looks like a very free storm game already. I really like this pickup. Ten seconds remaining. Middle storm though. Five seconds be... remaining. They can't really help him too much. Like Thorpe can help a little bit, but he's not like an ogre or something that can really like dominate a mid hero. Bloodseeker. Yeah, I guess they pick Slark. Bloodseeker is a hard counter to Slark. Makes a lot of sense. VG needs some lockdown right now. Or a really big silence. The only other way they can play is like Ten pick a quap or something remaining. to really dominate the storm that he doesn't even get online, and then you can deal with him Five like through items later remaining. on. That's the path you want to go. That's a very risky path though, because if it doesn't work, then the storm is just going to win them the game. I was going to say yeah, the DP. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> the DP would have been a really good pick. Mm. It offers both the silence and the push, which is both their weaknesses right now on VG's gaming side. So there's still something like a Dragon Knight they could pick up to fill uh, some of those. Yeah, but, but Storm kind of free farms against the Dragon Knight. It's like a like both kind of a free farm. Five and seconds remaining. You know, even yeah. uh, even a few a few weeks or a few days ago, the uh, Bloodseeker ban would have signaled Dying the impending Anti Mage. Yeah, I mean Anti Mage can work, but not in the war. Drow Storm. A Drow Storm game. This is all built for Storm. This entire game is just for Storm. Mm. They need to make sure he gets a good game. If they can shut down the storm. Ten seconds remaining. But although Slark is really good against Draw Ranger. Like if Slark Five ever gets on top of the draw, remaining. it's gonna be very problematic for them. Because they have, don't really have safe to, to get him off her. So what's the last pick? They're gonna to want to apply a ton of split push pressure this game. They have wave wave clear or uh, or tower push from basically all five positions. Um and so VG's kind of locked into a position now where they need either a pusher. Or someone that can really deal with the storm. Pass. So I do go for a Dragon Knight in the end. Alright. That still means the storm is going to free from middle though. Unless they're going to roam on him. Well, CTY storm game. Yeah. I mean, CTY storm is really good. Yeah. I'm a bit scared though because they have the Sanking and Shadow Demon. They can definitely roam on the storm and keep him really occupied and kill him a lot as well. But I think that that's the way VG have to play this game because if the storm gets online and he gets really fat, it's almost impossible to play for them. But Slark cannot deal with storm at all. Is it a better draw from Secret this time around? I actually think it's way better. I actually give him a little bit of an advantage this time, simply because the only thing they have to deal with the storm is like one Dragonite stun and one Sanking stun. As soon as he gets the Lincolns, the game is gonna get get really really hard for them. Then they should have won a little bit early then perhaps for VG. Uh, I, I also agree, I like Secret's Draft much better, but I think the Drow's going to have a really hard time this game, and just based on how they played, I think VG are in much better form right now, so I'm going to give the edge to VG again this game. Alright, okay. Uh, fairly split decision on this one, there's a little bit of indecision, not a surprise, after a much better draft this time round from Secret. Can they convert it into a game win? Let's find out as we head back to the arena with Toby Wan and Malik. Well, if the panel is indecisive, maybe we can help settle the score. Are we going to be split on this one, Ben? Uh, I would say Secret have a slight edge in the draft as well. Uh, okay. But VG are in better form. So you're on par with Jack? I mean, it's... I don't, I don't really say I favor either team. I mean, maybe slightly VG just because I think they've been playing a lot better. Yeah. But if Secret's going to win a game, it's going to be this one. For me, like, I look at it and I, like, I, I agree. The, the Storm Spirit can't be locked down. Like, there's very few that will be there. But you've still got to get CTY1 
to Lincoln Sphere, and then some kind of aggressive item that works with it. Even without Lincolns, I think he'll be fine. And two sinking with the rest of his team. Yeah, it's more so the draw that I'm super worried about. Yeah, it's like I I sit there as a draw lover personally, and I am just like. <laughs> She is not going to have an easy game. Like, yeah, no matter what she's laying against, it's going to be hard. There's too many heroes to close the distance. Slark is the old-fashioned counter to her as well. I don't think any of the new changes are actually going to help her. In fact, it actually hurts Storm Spirit at the start now with the aura doing less work in the first level. Like, it's... I don't know, it's... I sit there and I wonder exactly what it was meant to do with that last pickup. It doesn't help the offlane. It's not going to help your roaming support. Obviously, it helps ETY. It's, it definitely helps ETY. But they have to then make that mid lane really, really work for them. And they're not going to get kills there with the DK now positioned in the mid for VG. It's also weird that they turn for the draw trap because they do already have the Jakiro. Jakiro's already pretty decent at pushing towers. I thought they would have picked, you know, some more... Ace usually does play the space creator, so he's, you know, making room for TTY to actually deal the damage. That's usually what we see, even from uh, CTY's old teams and Ace's current team. But well, this game is a little the, bit different. Maybe that's the reason they're doing what they're doing. Like, they just double up on it. They force the towers early on. Slark, like, Slark, Omni, and DK, they all take a little bit of time before they come online. Same with the SK. So maybe there's a timing window that Puppy just saw in the draft and said, you know what? I don't think they can actually repel us. That is true. I, I do think that Eleven is not going to build as greedily as Fada. Uh, and if he were to, it would probably be a mistake just judging on the draft, and they're, unless they're super far ahead. But he should have a pretty easy time in lane, I would say. I think that's the first time I've seen a little red eye appearing on the map like that. A little ward marker that the Diocide could put down. Nice. Features. Features in the game. Six, seven years, eight, however many years old. The battle begins. Has it been eight? It's not been eight. No, no. Well, we've only had seven TIs, so. <laughs> but do you want to do you want to start counting Warcraft three Dota? We developed a lot of stuff back then too. But runes, two and two. Mm -hmm. A little bit of harassment damage either way. And then let the laning phase begin and we'll really see how everything goes down. Mario may be a little bit sad. The body block in the mid, superior for Team Secret. Well, he didn't really get a block on Ori because with the T with the way TP scrolls work now, you can't actually TP to the middle lane to after you get the bounty runes. So you have to commit one of the support heroes, which for VG are up on top lane, or you don't go for the rune, which I actually think some some uh, mid players do. Well, Father's in trouble up on top. Disruption's gonna come in. Lanham, wait for the right timing. The leech is gonna begin this control time. Now they can go for the burrow strike. You don't have another pounce just yet, but I'm really cracking shell lets it break free, but it still won't be enough. At the same time, the battle was happening on the bot lane, so technically with our split screen, we were actually watching both engagements, but it was Lana who gets the first one in on the top lane before Puppy's able to get the revenge onto Young Eleven on bot. That was a split second difference in between the two. Tight. Yep. It's tough as a level one out there, especially because Kraken Shell level one is... Sometimes you'll see people get like Stout Shield and then they'll get Anchor Smash at level one just so they can stay in lane. Uh, especially in situations like that, you have three heroes beating on you and two SD Illusions. So you're going to get a lot of value if you have both of them. However, he has taken the spill. And this mid lane... Obviously, it's going to go the way of the Storm Spirit early on until... Jeez, he's way ahead as he is. Yeah, I was thinking, like, until the bolt is going to arrive, and again, Fada's going to die up on top lane. It's, it's a death lane for him to be there. But Ari is really getting wrecked. Like, how long is it going to take before he's able to pick up this bottle and then start breathe fire farming? Oh, wow. Yapsor is going to get the Bounty Rune and the Arcane Rune on bottom. And Eleven is not going to get this bounty on bottom, so he might actually die here. You know, Yapsaw is hesitating to run forward. Wow, I'm, I'm very surprised about that. I guess he's not level 2 yet, but neither is oh, he is level 2. What? Why do you go for that? That's weird. Don't know. He's got the mana for both cogs as well yeah. as battery assault. Maybe he's trying to wait until he, he ran down like this. Like, you back off the dire observer ward. Should have actually seen this. Yeah, you're going to have to search for a pretty long time. I and he just TPs away. Back yep. to the tier 3 tower. Just gonna waste my tier 1 tower. Waste your time. I mean, maybe he was worried about the creep wave, but I, I think you can cog him out. Like, the creep wave starts mm -hmm. to the right side of the river, not close to the cliff. CTY has got to be aware. 
He's going to need to observe the ward up there, so he knows that Lanham's in the neighborhood. Couple of one charges available, bottle's going to arrive, and Flex TTY understands even with the help of Lanham, this mid lane still belongs to him. It's 24 versus 13 2 now, so Ori is catching up, and he's got the Soul Ring. Soul Ring, nice. And Lanham will move all the way down south. Not exactly certain if he can get this kill, but the help of the SD, maybe they can. Three heroes coming over, Yamsol waiting on the high ground, they start with a battery assault. Young Eleven trapped inside of it, he'll repel, give himself some protection, and now SD, they turn for the fight, and maybe they have enough. Puppy, fire is striked up, having a lot of damage from purification, Ace with the early point up in Gus, just pushing him back, and Puppy, he's dying to the SD illusions. Fenrir trapped inside the cogs once more, another hero locked in with the Absol, but Ace, he doesn't want to fight this one, in fact, he's just TPing out to safety. So Yamsol will find the kill over on Fenrir. There is no follow through again from from VG. Yeah, this is exactly how you want to pressure the Ranger. Force her to go not greedy, force her to spend a lot of money on consumables, force her to rotate in lane just to help out her support. But at the same time, Eleven is still not getting that much. Only four CS on him. Yeah. Ooh, Pretty terrible for him. Storm has a regen. Should carry over until level six too. It's gonna be rough. I it's gonna be, they're going to be really hard pressed to find a kill before that. He's already taking a fair chunk of damage. Lanham rotates in towards the mid. What a time for Yap sort of TP into the trees. They had a scan that hit, so they knew that someone hence, was coming. Hence, enemy incoming. Yeah. Popped up by Fada. Yap saw, now makes his play up. They need to get the cog block off, and Dragon Tail's going to make that difficult. A vortex, no point in it, so no pullback available. Can just slow him down with that overload. And there it is, the cog trap in. Ori can't go anywhere. One charge is up. Dragon Tail, the burn from the cog. It's not enough, and no level six on Storm. They'll actually allow him to salve up. Meanwhile, on bottom lane, the double gust puppy getting some space on this one. But uh, in two seconds' time, you'll let Barra strike and puppy will die unless he can dodge it in the trees. But it will not happen. Extra puppy illusions created with the death of that Jakiro. How's Slark doing? Slark's actually. Oh, Tide is in the jungle. Oh, no. Tide is in the jungle, and Slark has 20. He has as, almost as many denies as he has actual hits. Oh, this is really bad that Tide has a jungle. Because Slark has a free lane. The sports are free to just completely dominate the bottom lane. Oh, and just run around again. everywhere. Still no level 6 on CTY, and no regeneration rune for him to use anymore. That was a really nice play by Ori before, where he canceled the regeneration rune uh, from Storm Spirit. That actually saved him. But yeah, I mean, this is this is bad. Yeah. And it's gonna get worse when these when these supports from VG Gaming actually continue their rotations, continue to add pressure. Just oh, line line. Them. Well, they get knocked to attack him. Doesn't have a single point up in Sandstorm. He is a level three SK, but Barra strikes away. I actually expect the laning phase to go much, much better for Secret than this. Uh, yeah, Storm's winning, but he has Drow Aura. Yeah. And, but it's getting pummeled on bottom. Six, but here we go again. There's the disruption, the perfect fire strike time. Make sure there's no gust back. Purification, such heavy damage on Ace. And now Fenry has got even more Drows to fight for the cause. They look to move forward. Yapsor and Puppy forced out of the lane. And the SD Illusion is actually currently chipping away at Yapsor. And he knows there's little he can do about it. What are they going to do? Rotate the Tidehunter in? Right now, Tidehunter has actually moved towards the mid lane to stop the Dragon Form DK adding more pressure. But because this pressure is on, they know that CTY is also rotated off. He's down on bottom lane, starting even the long walk back to mid. Or they let him at bottom for the moment and let Fada try and get something out of the mid lane. So satisfying. That's actually what they've done. They've pushed Ace to the north. Uh, that's still not a great place for him. Nope. He, by he, north, he means the, against... the north jungle. <laughs> yes. He thought he could venture beyond the wall and realize he's actually quite crap as a wild man. Someone just called for a smoke on their side. The two of them bought smokes. Oh, Fenrir and Lanham are together. Oh, so, or, sorry, on secret side. It's weird that both supports actually buy smoke at the same time. Maybe they're coming they... to bottom lane. They are going to absolutely wreck CTY. He has seven one shots up his sleeve and ball lightning available. But that's not enough mana to get all the way back to the town, so Fenrir is going to start with Disruption. Cash is coming out as well, Lanham Fire Strike timing. This synergy has been absolutely perfect between the two supports. They need a little bit more damage, 
and they just don't have it, even with the caustic, maybe the pop with it. Ah, that fire strike, that'll do it. Closing the distance, diving the tower. Yamsaw's broken in. They want to get some level of revenge. Repel is there for, for a young 11. Will pull his way out of the cog's lineup. Ready for another fire strike. Ready for a space creation. Yamsaw is low. The fire strike's there. They'll take the bounty room from him. Yamsaw will pop to the caustic, let alone everything else is throwing at him. Storm and Clock fall for this. VG Gaming, without a care in the world, wander under Team Seeker's towers. They continue just to win lane after lane after lane. Yeah, he had a... Uh... Maybe they can get something back in mid. Jump onto the DK. Jump further on the DK. Very nice dodge of the stun right there, but don't think it's going to be enough to save him. Actually, didn't even... Yeah. Well, Ori also had an arcane ring last time he used the dragon form, so... I mean, Paparazzi's had a free top lane. That is the dream <laughs> as Slark. 1.7k net worth in front of the Drone Ranger, who is the number one. The team secret. I actually am still surprised that they left that top lane alone. Yeah, Fada died twice, but I mean, after the support showed bottom constantly, killing the THD, killing J or killing the Jakiro, killing the Drow Ranger, yep. killing the Jakiro again, then you would expect someone to be up there at least showing, so that you get all that glorious lane experience and gold. But doesn't happen for Team Secret, and they willingly went into this. Like then again, they did kind of early draft the tide as well. This is... This, is, this is why VG Gaming's third pickup of Omni Knight kind of like messed with their lanes completely. You want, you want Tide versus Omni, which then can go something other than a Drove for an off laner. Yeah, they thought the Jakiro would be strong enough to zone him out, but that is not the case. Also, Jakiro is not the best right clicker, so she's actually not getting that much benefit from the Drow Aura, too. Like maybe like a, you know, Lion or something has a little bit better right click could zone him out, but. So fearful being in that lane fire strike again. Lana, Ari, and Young Eleven. Perfect combination to bring down CTY. Yamsaw was nearby, but he was just trying to get enough leech experience off that bot lane to hit six. Dude, they but are he's a crumbling. level. He is a level four. You have level four Jakiro and Clockwork right now. Both supports from VG Gaming have five, but it's the level ten slot ten minutes in. Now plus ten agility. And only just a couple of hundred gold, 400 gold away from having Shadow Blade. This is one of those starts that are just completely demoralizing. And I hope they're not like, you know, all silent and like bathing in their disgust of how the lanes went. Oh, and they popped two smokes. Oh no. Burned two smokes. Ace was still farming up the Ancients. Yep, so I was going to call the sorry mark, and yeah, this is problematic for him. Fenrir, this defensive disruption, dodges the dual thrust, the boss TPing in, but then the purification and the repel. Fenrir will live long enough to even kill off the Yapsaw, but it's driving. It's rather effective, but still a worth saving. Young Eleven's got too much heal, another forest right from Lanham. I swear Team Seeker has been more much stuck than alive in this game. Pumpy TV won't work. Purification will kill him off. And VG Gaming, 11 kills to 3. Momentum galore coming their way in that Shadow Blade Slark is already on the hunt. And he has found the perfect prey. But doesn't go Radiance for it. A little bit risk, drone. right next to the shrine. Yeah, but... This is why you want a very tanky position file. Not necessarily tanky, but just one that's difficult to kill. One that buys enough time for a TP response. Bane, Shadow Demon, Winter Wyvern, like these sort of heroes that will buy enough time for your team to come. If he doesn't have disruption there, they probably just get in and then get out before the TP start following him. But because of the disruption, they're literally just sitting there. <laughs> Two and a half seconds. Get off my rune. He's gonna go for reckless center with his next one. To keep those attacks coming in, shift the essence. The minimal stats the Team Secret's already got. They're combining that now on the drag or push from bot lane. Not a single tier one tower lost for VG Gaming, and they're about to take their second or their third tower in total. Two tier ones and one tier two. Another disastrous sign of a trial lineup when you're losing towers and you don't even have any T1 of your own. Something is going to go their way finally. Fenrir will get popped. The Observe Ward that was just on the other side of the tree line should have also helped them to know that, yep, that Dire Observe Ward is down. So they remove a little bit of the aggressive vision, get the kill on the SD, but Lanham in mid. 
He fire strikes him. The purification was up. Fada thought he had some breathing room, but Ori, they trigger the drum charge. They're running forward quickly. And this fire strike, oh, Puppy creates a little bit of space, but it's a level one ice pop. It'll help when Lennon doesn't connect. But Fada on the run back behind the tower, but oh. he uses the illusions to purify. Where well, the panel say VG Gaming were just styling Team Secret in game one? That yep. was style with a capital S. <laughs> This is what I like to see around me, nice. You know, you go, you help your team out. You get Blink Dagger, you get Aether Lens, you know, you have a lot of mana to help out your teammates. How many heals did he throw out in that mid fight where they completely demolished them with a turnaround? Mm -hmm. Like, if you go for a Midas Rush, you're not going to have the mana to to throw out these amount of spells, and you're probably not, likely not even going to be there because you're going to be off, you know, hitting creeps. Are you liking the build from Storm Spirit? We just got the, with the Kaya, Kaya as his first item and now going to be building into Lincoln's. Let's be real here. If he gets a Bloodstone, he's probably going to end up with like six charges after a couple of minutes with the way the game's going. That is true. But, I mean... But is Kaya the best I, alternative? I, honestly, oh, like, ice. Goodbye. he's a little bit poor right now, so he doesn't have really have too much of a choice. Wow. Wow. Kill secure. So cool. Flame and just walk away. Doesn't even bother with the stun. <laughs> nice one, Ori. <laughs> The confidence play. That is styling, dude. He only needed to breathe fire to get the kill before the TP was going to complete, so it makes sense. And come on, the Slice already got got too much in this game. He's got the Shadow Blade already done. I think half of the Echo Saber is... Uh, yeah, he's got the Oblivion Staff coming out in the Courier now. Like, we're 14 minutes in on this slog. He's 13 levels up. Net worth 7.4k. It's unbelievable how good this game is going for him. Actually, no, it's very believable how good this game is going for him after his laning phase. Yep. Oh, I blinked a bit. CTY jumping away just at the right time there, engulfing him from both sides. And ball lightnings all the way back to the tier 2 tower. Every bit of mana CTY has got allows him to follow the order of Fada of get back. Back, get back. I think uh, this game, this early game, might have played out actually a little bit differently if uh, if that first game hadn't been played. Because notice where they actually shift their attention to. Last game it was top and mid, and this game it was mid and bottom. They've been radiant both sides, so they actually like helped out their carry a lot this game, and they left Bot out on an island, and he. Oh, Yapsaw. Ooh. Okay, you know, you know things are not quite right when Yapsaw with perfect vision misses the hook shot. Now Paparazzi can just pounce himself away. But and now they get the observer ward dewatered as well. Their decision to not help off auto though, I think, really cost them. Oh, nice nice silence. The extra damage. Not there. Great silence coming out from him. Suck that disruption from coming out. But I mean, it's so little in the way of, uh, way of Team Secret. Yeah. Well, at least Vici have a pretty terrible Roach lineup. So Secret actually have a potential for Roach still if Vici make the fall of going into Roach when all five of Secret are still up. So that's that. That's kind of what you're looking for for uh, Secret, for Vici to do something that's just beyond their means right now. They're AK ahead, but that doesn't mean they can do anything in the world that they want. Maybe they'll commit too hard on a Storm without enough disables. Maybe they'll do yeah. Roach when they have a pretty terrible Roach lineup with no Medallion. Maybe they'll try and push Towers uh, when like Dragon Form is down or something like that. Maybe, you know, they'll try and farm all, th all three lanes out when they can't control all three of them. So these are the things that you're looking for for them to do. They are ahead, but they can still make mistakes. Yeah. And that's where CTUI has to be there to capitalize on them. Because if he can do that, then that Lincoln Sphere can be completed. The control on him will disappear. But for the moment, VG still know the good target. The Shrine just got burned. And CTY getting a little bit of mana back, and Paparazzi is on the hunt. He won't find the target. In fact, the pings are coming out a quick jump away. Oh, it's Puppy who pings that one. Yeah, it's all just available. It's over towards the FK. They just want to get one kill, and Lanham is going to be in the best reward down so he couldn't hide. Fada creates some space with that Ravage. They kill off the FK, turn their attention towards Paparazzi. They've already burned the Ravage as well as the mech of Fada. It is time to retreat if your team secrets. The Dorbrook can catch three, but now the Guardian Angel is there. So much regeneration, so much sustain for VG. They move closer with the pounce forward. Paparazzi as you pounce over the dead corpse of Fada. Three heroes down, no buyback for the Tidehunter. Their only advantage is there's no creep wave for VG Gaming on that tier two tower.
and that's not a big advantage. It's coming. Well, secretly, maybe mid one is very happy. I think, like, you know, whenever you're like, you know, take a day off work or, you know, miss miss a game, you, you know, if they perform pretty poorly, you can be like, oh, yeah, that's because I wasn't there, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's always nice and reassuring. I'm fairly certain going through his head. You mean like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry this has yeah, to happen. Yeah, I bet he wished that he were here for this. Yeah, unfortunately, he is not. No. But uh, this is problematic, to say the least, for, for Team Secret. Yep. The net worth is completely blown out of proportion now. The Slark is building into a Blink Dagger now after having Echo Saber. Okay, now he's changed his mind and gone into Silver Edge. But this is still... It's harsh, and VG are going to keep the pressure on. No surprise. We saw them set the tempo in Game 1. They're going to do exactly the same in Game 2. Double Blink Daggers, SK and DK, and a smoke up from Team Secret. Four of them together. Lanham smoke is actually going to break, so will Team Secrets. And Lanham instantly into Sandstorm. Hiding underneath their own sentry ward. Team Secret really wanted something there. Maybe they're thinking about actually going into Roshan with that smoke. The line yeah, was right. right for it. They would get crushed. They've done it before. They have. All right. Paparazzi. Oh, oh, what do you do against that? You're repelled up. And all Storm can do is just ball away. However, part of it is too lucky. Aria dies pretty quickly. The destruction is there. SD creates some space, but he doesn't have enough to get away. Now, do they have enough to jump? Full shot. Yasso creating space. Moving forward on the fan rear. Paparazzi bounces over. The FB center may be tied rapid as Meg. It gives them now the sustain for Team Secret. A massive fight. These are the mistakes the Molini was mentioning about VG Gaming that they could make that will bring them back in because now Team Secret, they're looking towards Roshan. They're getting money in. You know Link what Xperia happened. is no longer a dream. Freaking, fr I was just talking about how 11 went team fight items and then he had a Blink Dagger queued up and then he built a Midas and then he wasn't in range to heal the heal the DK. <laughs> oh my goodness. Saparazzi, he just killed our face. The Ice Pump is not catching up 11 on the back line. Allowing CTY to do some work to arrange us down, but nothing of value was lost. Or he's probably like, where the hell are you, Eleven? Where <laughs> I, were I you? Here we go. Let's have a look at it again. Look at where he is. He's actually to the left of the secret shop. We had a, he was really close out of his run. Clutch disruption coming out from Fenrir over here. He almost was in range to save him right here. But and then he, he just heals the paparazzi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because he actually used that purify as well in the run back. Paparazzi was already healing. They didn't actually have the damage yeah. to, to threaten Yam, so he just instantly comes back in again. I think if he has a Blink Dagger, it's a completely different fight. He can repel himself so he doesn't get ravaged, blink in, heal him up, and then GA and just start rock kicking people, and then Sand King and the Slark can follow up after that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Midas just kills your team fight potential. Oh boy. Rocket. It will pay off in 30 minutes, though. The rocket from Secret is going <laughs> to. <laughs> oh, God. Yes! Yes, it will pay off in well, 30 minutes. Especially with losing that team fight, it might be even be longer than that. Right. In, in 30 minutes time, you're going to have a fully six slotted CTY, and then nothing to control him. But like, you have Midas, they could, dude. They couldn't know after. You can buy... But, I'm sorry, do you want to do you want to go back to the days of Alliance in 2000? What was it, 14? Like, do we need those, those times back again? Or the end of two, 2013? But you have Midas. You can buy all the items that you... You can buy an Atos and a Scythe to counter the storm. Okay, we're done here. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and here comes Paparazzi. Sentry Ward reveals him, but he's already broken to tie up the Silver Edge going into work. There's no ravage. The Macrofire is nice. Varda, the live he's going to sustain for a while. But a while is not long enough. It's lovely that Paparazzi can go class cannon build because he has the spell. He went for the agility and the attack speed, so just all out right click. They're going in again. The sentry ward's revealing observe ward on the hill. They can push it back. Ace in a good position just to cannon fire from the rear again. Yeah, so the call drops down. Oh, 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 the first damage is there from the from the remnants to help bring down the Omnite, so he's gone for the count, but Paparazzi can now be free to do what he wants. He's going through Ace. Maybe not so much when CTY once again is into the back lines. It's like CTY and Paparazzi just want to ignore that each other exists. 
But he may have, may not have a choice. Right now, CTY has lost every teammate he has. Paparazzi with a triple kill. And VG with a creep wave coming down mid lane can at least force buybacks, if not do some heavy damage to the tier three. Mm, glorious plus 120 agility. Echo Saber Arcane Rune, pretty good. Stomp. He's <laughs> got enough mana for it, so hey, why not? So Dude. maybe just had the Revenant talent. Tom Rodgers just does so much damage right now. <laughs> so stupid him doing that. Dyer's top Melee is gone. Is under attack. Yeah, Paparazzi has over 250 damage 23 minutes into the game. Obviously, yes, this is going to start to shift again. Hawk shot, gas sword. Well, we fought this place before. We're going to find it again. Venria, he's going to fall. CTY jumping in deep and breaks the Lincoln Spear. Now, Paparazzi going for a little bit more. But Copper support is there. They were going for both targets. A little bit of greed, or a lot of greed. A mountain of greed. Uh, he still had all the stacks. So right now, he's at 37. Yeah, They're that's... Done. 24 minutes in, they're realizing this is a hopeless case. Team Secret get 2-0 by VG Gaming as VG Gaming will secure a top three position here in the Perfect World Masters. Lanem is a top four. His drafts have been 